Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the third video in the capacitor series and we're looking at the amount of energy stored in the capacitor. So we're going to look at uh, a quick simulation, how the formula works through it, and then an example, a nice short video. So here's back to our simulation and, and in the simulation you'll see that um, I can apply a voltage to the capacitor, store some energy there, and then I can switch it around and that energy gets released. Okay, so capacitors are very good at storing energy. Um, and, and releasing it in short bursts. And so we want to work out, we want to have a method of working out how much energy is stored in that capacitor. So the formula you are given in your formula sheet looks like this, a half QV. And remember Q is the charge on the capacitor plates and V is the voltage applied to charge that capacitor. However, in many situations, uh, in exam questions, you might not be given the charge that's on that. So you can work out the charge, um, and you can work out the charge through one of the capacitor equations we've already got. The charge on the capacitor is due to capacitance times the voltage. Uh, or you can just substitute that in to the, to the formula above. And if you substitute that in, so instead of a half QV, instead of the Q, you put a CV there. You already had a V from the original formula, and so you get a half CV squared. That's the derived formula, and that often ends up being far more useful uh, to you because you're often given the um, capacitance and the voltage, and then you can work out the energy from there. So what does this look like? This is a question from the 2023 paper. Uh, Kate's learning about capacitors. Capacitor is labeled as 185 nanofarads. So you can see in the last video we talked about uh, capacitance being a small amount, but they've even told you what that is. So it's 1.85 by 10 to the minus 7 farads. And the camera's connected to a 1.5 battery show that the energy stored in the capacitor when it's fully charged is 2.8 by 10 to the minus 7. So this is an example where if you go to write down the formula you're given, a half QV, and you say, well, what am I given? You're given the capacitance and you're given the voltage. Right? So you're not given the charge. You could work the charge out um, using this formula here, and that's one way of going through it. And, and I'm now sort of teaching that as you get better in physics, this is the method you should do, is that you should try and substitute one formula into another. So in this one, we substitute it in here, and we get a half times CV squared. So when we put the values in for that, um, C was just the 1.05 nanofarad, or times 10 to the minus 7 farads, and V, um, 1.5 volts, make sure that's squared. 